Patch for waking me up. <laughs> I was asleep. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know what to do, so I took uh, Torah Aleph. Two, uh, two good things in it. One is Torah Aleph, so at least we know the first uh, Torah Rabbeinu said. And second, you can use this uh, book. So uh, it's a good thing. And really, they say that Torah Aleph is really Torah Bet. Because what is Torah Bet? Torah Aleph starts starts mm -hmm. on the Torah, speaking about the Torah. And Torah Bet speak, speak about the Tfila. Yeah? And Rabbeinu said, my, 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 my main Indian, my main business is Tfila. Mm -hmm. So why does he start with Torah? He should start with Torah Bet, not with Torah Aleph. Mm -hmm. He should swap it. So, we have to know that Tfila, you know, really the main thing is Tfila. And really the main uh, weapon that Mashiach will uh, conquer the world is Tfila. And this is what Rabbeinu teaches us, to hold the Tfila in our hand all the time. But, if you don't have any base of Torah, it's very hard to hold the tefillah. There's uh, stories about uh, hidden tzaddikim and very simple uh, people that uh, held the tefillah. It's like uh, outstanding people, you know, unusual people. But to make a way of working, of serving Hashem, by tefillah, you must have Torah. And uh, that's why we start with the uh, Torah. That you know, the basic, the, the the land that we are standing on is the land of Torah. Yeah? And that was what, what Rabbeinu said. Rabbeinu said, you can learn my book. You can understand whatever you want to understand. Take out any understanding out of this book, whatever you want. You know, just don't move one centimeter, millimeter out of the halacha. You have to hold the halacha. We have, we have, we have the halacha. Halacha is, is, is the word, you know, for all the commandments that Hashem told us. But you use the way the word halacha is holech. It's going in. Mm -hmm. I'm going in the Torah. So, Ashraitim yimei darech, ha'olchim b'Torat Hashem. Happy are the ones, yeah, the t'mimim. The, the, perfect, perfect, huh? perfect ones. Perfect ones, yeah, yeah. It's very hard for me to uh, translate it as perfect one because Tamim is uh, closer to innocent yeah. than to uh, than to perfect because perfect in in the, in, in the Jewish uh, uh, thinking perfect is the one that knows all the Torah and all the mitzvahs and does everything and he's a great tzaddik, you know. How many are there? <laughs> yeah. Nice. But the innocent, yeah, the innocent, it's also not a 100% uh, uh, translation, but it's closer, you know, it's innocent, the simple people, you know, the innocent people, they not, uh, Tamim is, is the one that is not uh, sharp to, 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 to lie. He cannot lie, he cannot make, uh, he's not sharp to make uh, business, and he's, he's a simple man, he goes to, he gets up in the morning, goes to work, Makes it, make his living, come back home, you know, have a wife and kids, and does whatever happens with him, you know, and whatever God. Simple, simple man. This is the, the but, but this simple man, when he's a, when he's a happy, is the guy, or insured, is this simple man when he goes into Atashem. So it says, Alchim Beto Atashem. Okay? Not with Torah Hashem, Betorah Hashem, Betoch HaTorah, inside the Torah, which means that I have all the time, I have uh, something from the Torah with me, like we had the, the chance, the, 
the lack, you know, the 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 to to go with Torah Vav for for a while. And I I hope we have uh, the schut to to go with this Torah for a while. If if you go with the Torah, you go and you everything you think, everything you look at life through this Torah, then you start you start uh, start living. <laughs> that is the real uh, life. Da, you have to know. כי על ידי התורה מתקבלים כל התפילות וכל הבקשות שאנו מבקשים ומתפללים. You have to know that by the Torah, which means by learning the Torah, all your tefillas and wishes and בקשות, that is a result, request. Uh, request, wow, you speak. That's what says it. Ah, I'm <laughs> <reading>. <laughs> I thought you are the genius. No, no. No, <laughs> uh, all the spirits and all the requests that we ask and we pray, Hashem accepted. So, okay, let's we read this part and then we go again. ואכן והחשיבות של ישראל נתעלה ונתרומם בפני כל מי שצריכים. ואכן, how do you, does it translate? Uh, grace. Again? Grace. Grace, wow, nice. Grace and the chashivut, okay, and the importance of Israel goes up and uh, in front of whoever they need. Ben Beruchni, Ben Gashmi, either in the Ruchni side, in the spiritual side, and in the physical, physical uh, side. Yeah, I think this is, uh, this is enough. Okay. Okay, so you have to know that by the Torah, all the tefillahs that we pray, so the tefillahs is only in front of Hashem. We don't pray to someone else. Are accepted. Okay. And all the requests that we ask, also accepted. So what is the difference between Tfilah and Bakasha. Because when you look at the Tfilah and the Shmona Esre, it's, request. it's all request. Yeah. So what's the difference between Tfilah and request? You know, we know that Rabbeinu doesn't use two words for nothing. nothing. Yeah? He has, a, he has a meaning. So Tfilah Rashi explains when Rachel said that she asked Hashem for many things and she uses the word tefillah, he says like Tzamid Patil. Patil is a, is a, is like a rose string. String. Is a string. So the tefillah, yeah, in the tzitzis is the is a string. So the tefillah is a string to do what? To tie us with Hashem. This is the word tefillah. Tefillah means tie me together with Hashem. Like I take a string and I tie two things together. And bakasha, yeah, is what I ask from Hashem. Okay, uh, So in Bakasha there's also there's two meanings. One is what I ask for Hashem, and the second is what I I uh, I'm knocking on the door. You know, like I knock. So the tefillah is 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 to be unique, to be one with Hashem, and to feel the the like ends of to feel the spiritual feelings from Hashem. And Bakasha is when I'm like with with two people. After if, if I want to ask someone for something, yeah, it has to be someone else, not me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I cannot ask for myself, you know, because I know exactly what I can do. And what mm-hmm. I can do, I, I I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and what I cannot do, I'm not doing. Uh, but I ask if, uh, someone else to to help me. So, it's two uh, positions. It's two. Uh, 
ways to be with, with Hashem. One, I am unique with Hashem. Whatever goes with me, I know Hashem is with me and He's doing everything and I am one. And the other thing, you know, that I am going and Hashem is helping me. With the Torah, when we learn Torah, yeah, yeah, we get these two things. One, we get united with Hashem. And the second is, whatever we ask, we get. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's It's two of them. When you say thank you to Hashem, mm -hmm. yeah, when you say thank you to Hashem, so you say thank you to Hashem. And when you, uh, when you, uh, it's, it's, it, it's not, it, it doesn't have the, like, in Shmonaiser, we mm -hmm. ask Hashem things, mm -hmm. but, in the same time that we ask Hashem, we da we also daven. Mm -hmm. We also get uh, get ourselves closer to Him. It's in the same time. It can be separate. You know, when you say thank you, sometimes you you, you only say thank you. You know, I like I, I took the letters of my name, Eud, and I made them in all uh, all possibilities. Yeah, mm -hmm. like I I changed the, the mm -hmm. places of all. The, so one of the possibilities is Odet. Mm -hmm. Odei is thank you, you know, and I was so happy when I found it, I said, wow, <laughs> wow, you know, thank you, I, said, yeah. I, I didn't ask anything, you know, I, I was so happy, you know, that I, I saw, because I, th I thought, I, 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 I thought about myself that I never, I never say thank you, you know, I have so many things to say thank you about, and I, and I don't say thank you, you know, and, and I saw that it's in my name, you know, wow, how very nice, you know, the, this time is, is only tefillah. You, you don't ask anything, you know, I just, I just feel close to Hashem. I just feel uni unite with, uh, with Hashem. Like I told you in uh, Australia, you know, in, the, in this uh, rocks. When you stand on the rocks and you see the, the ocean, it's... What can you ask? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's what he said. He, he stands there and says, wow, you know. <laughs> Wow! Well, as I can see, it's just ocean. Yeah. It's quite blue. And, and you, you see, we saw uh, Leviathan. How do you say Leviathan? A whale. A whale, yeah. We wow. saw, uh, well, the, the back. We saw the uh, back of the... Huh? Yeah, it's a humpback whale. It's what? It's called humpback. Humpback, yeah. Humpback. Humpback. Yeah, it's amazing. So it's so big, you, you, uh, what can you ask? Uh, so this is uh, one side, and the other side is when you are, uh, you know, this is Hashem, I, I don't know what to do with these uh, kids, you know, I, I, I don't have anything to do with these kids, you know, I, I, I cannot hold it, you know, I, what, what, what can I do, you know, give me a, give me a way to, 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 to do it, you gave me the ki these kids, you know, tell me how to handle them, uh, what, what to do with them. I don't know. What <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do, you know. And when I come to any idea, you know, so my wife tells me, no, it's not a good idea. So what, what, what can I do, you know? How can I find a good way to, to deal with them? And my wife will be happy, and they will be happy, and, and I will be happy, you know. <laughs> I don't care if I'll be happy, you know, as long as they, wife they are happy. happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My wife is happy and my kids are happy for sure. Yeah, happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is only a request. Only ask, uh, but it's not only a request because I, I turn my, myself to Hashem. I have someone to speak to. So it's also tefillah. Also the, the request is, is tefillah. Yeah, but the, the highest times are the times that you are un un united with Hashem. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter where you come from. You know, I look so so sad. <laughs> I look so much. You know, we, what uh, Torah are we going to learn? You know, it's uh, I don't know. Ben was, when you come when you come to it, you know, you see, oh Ben is so big. You know, you don't know what what to start. You don't know what you don't know what to do. Okay, so this is the Tfila and the Bakasha. The Achen and the grace, the grace is, uh, yeah. and the Chashivut and the importance of, of Israel, it Allah, yeah. Everybody can see 
the grace of Israel and the, and the, and the importance of, 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 the, of, of Israel. And the Ruchni and the Gashmi in the spiritual uh, side and in the physical side, you know, like when you, okay. Because now, because all of our big sins, and the grace, and the importance, the real grace, and the real importance of Israel fell down. Yeah? Fell down. We don't have the better Middash. We are not, we don't live, I mean, not all of Israel lives in Israel. Yeah? So, it's, it's fair.